Welcome to another edition of Spooptober Horror Games. There are so many of them. I didn't get to most of them last time. So I figured, let's do it again this week. Especially because I have a very interesting pumpkin carving game for the season. So, we will determine which is the spoop of the best. So you can pick a pumpkin. Look at a nice... Uh, thick pumpkin and as you can see here for some reason that's really weird it just freezes huh I think we're good now right yeah we're good so we can make a pumpkin um, do one of those Do one of those. Okay. Right? <clears throat> then you can do this. Which admittedly, uh, doesn't look all that great at the moment, but... Could also... Could I actually kind of do... I like this. This is kind of cool. It actually deforms the pumpkin, too. So it's not just like um, a cosmetic thing. Oh, shit. We're going to have to undo that. But... Let's see if I can make this look something like a vine shroom. Right. Uh, I guess we could just try this too. Oh, doesn't look all that great. How much can we shave this pumpkin? <laughs> can I grow back the pumpkin? There you go. Really good graphics for something like this. Yeah, so pretty pretty cool. There's also um, you can screenshot it and stuff. You can get a new pumpkin. <laughs> oh, gorgular pumpkins. Chat, I need a Twitch chat member. There you are. I just needed... Okay, there we go. All right, so... Let's see if I can... do. The, I, this is not my specialty by any means, but I'm going to try. Okay, now it looks angry, and that was an accident, but I'm going to go with it. What? Uh, I broke the physics engine. There we go. Instead of saying error, it was just programming can be hard. But it's more forgivable that way, I feel. Like, it's nice when the developer tries to tell you, like, listen. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Kind of seems like they know a lot about what they're doing, if they can get it to look, to work this well. But I need to... I 
kind of want to make the face float. Do you think that's possible, chat? I mean, good enough, I guess. That that spot is just a no bueno spot, is what that is. I mean, kind of floating, it's hanging on by like a thread. It's that little piece. Maybe it's that's why there's an error because it knows. Maybe it, it knows that we're trying to, like, break the game. Oh, no. No, it's... <laughs> no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's ha hanging on by another little little piece. I tried. It's a vengeful Twitch chat. Oh, I can't undo the... Oh, shit. I can't undo the carve. Or the scrape. So, this is just, chat, what you look like now. Oh, wait, you can. Uh, kind of. Oh, man. The undo system's a little fucked. You know what, chat? This is... <laughs> this is fine. You can also... like, add more stuff to it. You know? Stuff like this. Like another Twitch chat member. Someone said draw a Tom York pumpkin. There he is. Draw the diaper chief. You mean draw a boat? Sure, I can do that. So, it's a really cool way to do this. Oh, you can even carve green pumpkin. I just think it's like really well done technology to make it glow like this. And you can make as much diapers as you want. You can even see the candle in there, too. It is now my job to find out if this pumpkin defies physics. I mean, it keeps activating an error. There's definitely some physics being defied right now. Like, right there, but... You can get kind of close before you get um, told that you cannot do that. But it doesn't say that you can't do it. It just kind of says that you, you fucked up. Oh, no, no, the, definitely you can defy physics. That's no problem. No, no question. No question. Hmm. 
then he erased the whole pumpkin. Now why would I do that to a perfectly fine pumpkin? This pumpkin is beautiful and pure and cute. Uh oh. Oh dear. Uh, chat, it's going to be a lot more difficult to erase the whole pumpkin than you think it is. I feel like for as amazing as this is, it glitches quite a bit. Unfortunately, the festival is not available. There used to be a pumpkin server where you can actually go around and look at other people's pumpkins. I think last year this was available. Whoa. Oh. Day and night. And you actually are a spooky ghost in this mode, and you could, like, see other spooky ghosts. Well, the servers just went offline. Um, I don't think people from chat can join because the server just doesn't exist anymore. So it is now a ghost town. 50,000 people used to live here. Big spirit Halloween. $150 skeleton. Ah, I'm just gonna plop down over here. So yeah, it would have been really cool to see other people's pumpkins. I wish it was working. Unfortunately... I've got to take down the server for some maintenance right now. I'm not sure when it'll be back up, is what the dev said recently. Okay, so apparently the servers were up somewhat recently. Tell you what, if the servers come back up in time for Halloween, I'll be able to, um, I'll check it out. Why is the bench so fucking spooky? But yeah, this is like above and beyond for just a little pumpkin carving game. Faith 3 is going to happen during the week, chat member. I think this is all the same stuff, just different servers. Yeah, it is. So yeah, that's this game. Oh, you can put an award? Oh, you can give pumpkins a How cool is this? Chat, you could all skew the results in my favor with my terrible pumpkin. We can only hope that this comes back online, because I want to be good at something for the first time in my entire life. Please. Vinny, design your ghost. Hang on. I already did. It's this. Okay, well, I like that one. Beware demo. So last week, there were some really interesting ones. You may remember the one about the uh, fish, for example. That was pretty good. And then the one with the moving faces, that was pretty good. So there's a lot that these games have to live up to. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. This one's going to require a walkthrough. Well, this one just crashed. This one just loaded. Okay, we got headlights. We got we got windshield wipers. Okay. All right, chat. Oh man, it's going for like really really bad suspension realism. What what did they do to this car? Endless rows of weird vans. Okay. Um, okay, so some chat members were saying this may require a guide. Let me know if you know what this is. I'm not even going to ask what to do. What? What is this? Okay, now I'll ask what to do. Fine, car's fine. Yeah, we're good. Still going. Still driving. Man, and you know what? It's the fucking sound of the car. Like, the rattling that's giving me more anxiety than driving on these terrible roads. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, so this isn't, like, fantasy horror, like, Halloween horror. This is just real-life horror, like, Accident Simulator, the game. Uh. Left mouse click is interact. ZX? What, what the fuck is the ZX button? I'm gonna pull up the readme real quick. And I'm going to also not do windowed mode because that was actually making this more difficult. And apparently controller is recommended. I'll give it one more shot. I have no idea. I have no idea why this exists, but apparently I downloaded it, so it must be something. And, okay, we got controls. Right trigger is accelerate. Uh, well, no, it's not.
If you have to look away, look away. While in game, you can access the pause menu by pressing escape. Uh. Yeah, I mean, there's no real... Oh god. There, there's no real information, even in the readme, about if there's a goal. But, uh, yeah, the car sounds are amazing. There is find a power plant. Okay. I'm looking for the power plant. Someone said, can we go to McDonald? I will pull this car over. Rem remember what I told you. That is clown meat and pink paste. And those aren't potatoes. I don't know what they are, but they're not potatoes. You don't remember that video where Jamie Oliver showed the kids the pink paste? He was like, it's fucking disgusting. Oh shit. And then they were like, I want- I want chicken nuggies! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. That was like a realistic movie car crash. Like, you actually have to pay attention to your mirrors, you have to look to your right and left. I, yeah, I took the, my eyes off the road for one second. That was all it took. Alright, I'm, I'm thinking I'm good on this one. I think you can make the gear shift automatic. Yeah, that was probably the big issue, is I had to shift manually and I was pressing the wrong buttons. I was trying to. Oh wait, no, auto transmission... Or manual transmission... I don't know how to set that. It's fucking UI is ter- It's the most realistic car game... ...of this type. And yet... ...it has this UI. All the work was put into the car. Chat, it's like Naruto. If you drive fast enough on water, you just float. Oh. Flip! It's getting louder. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Apparently that's an older version of it. And there's a better, newer version. 
Um, unfortunately, that was the one that was sent to me. So, yeah, it's called Beware. That's it. It's just called Beware. You just got to the good part with the power plant. Yeah, I'm sure there's more good stuff. Um, let me just look it up real quick. Beware car horror. Uh, there is a lot of it. Like, there's, yeah, there's a whole lot more than I didn't see. Like, holy shit. This is going to look crusty because it's 720p, but just to give you an idea of some of the... Some of, I mean, it looks kind of... Some, oh yeah, then there's this. Whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, a lot of death. Um... So that was the first version. I played zero zero one. <laughs> I think it's a little bit further along. Bear car game. I don't know why I downloaded that one. If there's a version of it that's incredibly for further along, I don't know why I said incredibly. It's cool, but again, I, I probably would need to go back. I'll tell you what, if I find a newer version of that in the future, I might add it to another pack. But for now, let's just leave it at that. Um, here's a game called Feed Your Cat. So go from vehicular horror to feed your cat. Have I played this before? Probably not. Just checking. <laughs> okay. Good TV program. I use this to throw away stuff I don't need. Good. Very good. Yeah, that's Bonzi. It's deep voice Bonzi. Fluffles. This is my cat. I should probably feed it. <laughs> Sometimes when my meat walks, it also makes a strange noise. All right, so we need to find cat food. Uh, we're going to find it. This is right that that goes back out to the cat. We're going to find it. Oh, here we go. Cat food in the toilet. Very nice. It keeps it moist, really. I mean, that's the best place to keep your cat food in the toilet. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. White cherries.
Ah, uh, sneezed. Chad, I think I screwed up. I can't put herb, herbs and spices. Epic cat food recipe. Poison cat food, sus juice, 3D lettuce, spices, mix all in bowl. Okay, so that's the sus juice. <laughs> sus juice. <laughs> I'm trying to put this in the bowl, but it won't let me. This is my cat. I should probably feed it. Oh, in the kitchen. Right. Okay. Very strong poison. Probably shouldn't be mixed with cat food. Very strong poison. Very strong probably poison. Be mixed with cat food. Why does this motherfucker have so many clocks, says a chat member. To know when it's killing time. I'm not that good at cooking. Maybe I could find some instructions. I'm not that good at cooking. Maybe I could find some instructions. I just read the instructions. <laughs> Add cat food to the poison first. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now we need sus juice. Chad, I have a hammer now. It's locked. It's locked. Just handle room. It's been locked ever since the sale incident. He, he. Nice meat door texture. Just room. It's oh, I just threw. I threw out the sledgehammer. He, he. He, he. he. Press E to drink sus juice. Man. I'm not that good at cooking. Maybe I could find some instructions. Okay, so we, we've done most of the work, I think. Three, we need, yeah, 3D lettuce. Maybe that was in the fridge? Can I open the fridge? No. Does anyone know where the 3D lettuce is? Stuff I don't need. Outside. This rock has been here since forever. Okay, that would be interesting. I need to use the sledgehammer on the rock. I think I gotta, yeah, I have to restart. Well, that's an easy restart at least. <sighs> All right, um, I'm gonna use the sledgehammer. I just immediately, as soon as you press escape, the game just resets. It knows, the game knows. Uh, 3D lettuce on TV. No. Wow, there's only three doors in this entire game. Four, but one's locked, and I'm still going through the wrong one. Frequently. I 
found the 3D lettuce. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, rock to work again. Ah, there it is. Cat food. Catch food. Joshua, I still need to learn the layout of this house. My favorite moment in Troll 2, when the omnipotent grandpa that can summon Molotov cocktails and spawn lightning from his fingers gets lost in a house. Did you watch that this year? No, I didn't watch Troll 2 this year yet. I was try I was considering <laughs> putting together an event for people to watch Troll 2 together, but I think it's a little too late for that. This is my cat. Okay. Yeah, but the, the there was poison in there, chat. Only cat food and poison. Do we really need to get more than this? Like, we, we already... We got a couple endings. I think we're good. We don't need more endings. Like I said, we got a couple endings. We don't need more. Ugh. What's behind the door? I mean, how will we find out? Beating in 3D lettuce drinking sisters. There's another ending that you unlock when you do everything. Okay, so poison cat food is an ending. <laughs> Oh, I went through the wrong door again. <laughs> My God. Oh my god. Why laugh? I think it's just a funny noise, but um yeah, no, no it, uh, it was a fun, it was a funny noise. It was a funny noise. And then it like cut off at the moment it was still ha hawking. It's locked. I bet you that last ending is going to be amazing. Okay. The cat became 3D and expanded. All right. And chat, how do we do the, the last ending? I guess the door is probably open now. Yeah, that's implying that the other endings weren't goofy. Just handle room. It's been locked ever since the seal incident. He. Oh. He.
Good. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if it was 69, 420. Vinny, the clocks. Oh my god. Wait, so... Uh... They're all... They're all noon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hang on, hang on, what's this? Look behind the sink, it says. Look behind the sink. Chat? Do, um, do you see something behind the sink here? Because I sure... I sure don't. You do. It's just really dark. Oh, I picked something up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Binary. Oh, God. For this game? It's a video. This, vi <laughs> this video isn't available anymore, it says. Um, top says 92138. Okay, if you say so. A stranger. I should use it with my hammer. This fucking game. Orbs had memes for a little while there. That was the big meme. Okay, so now, yeah, I have a... Glow hammer. Ah. The room. You know, the one from the incident. Okay. I see. Well, this was definitely worth our time. Oh, hey. I've been locked in this room for 11 years. Wait, you aren't the one who locked me in here, are you? Well, that doesn't matter now. What matters is killing your cat, who is secretly in <laughs> That poison you gave them earlier didn't actually work. It was just a mind game. I'm too old for this, but you still have time. Here, have this fork. Use it to kill the cat and free the universe once and for all. Goodbye, player. Okay. Is this law so random? Hey, if it means the game ends, it's probably worth it. You just made a very big mistake. So I guess this is it. 
I always knew that seal would try to kill me one day and ruin my whole plan. That room should never have been unlocked. Guess I have to go now. Are you happy with what you did? I hope not. Just know that this is not the end. Goodbye, I'll be seeing you. I added that to spice it up. <laughs> ruined, improved, ruined, improved. I saw a number of XDs in chat. So that was feed your cat. Chat. I'm going to try to feed my chat with more games. So that was pretty rough. But we did it, and we got to see the cool ending. Totally worth it! This one's called Corpse Ocean from Kira, LLC. I believe that is the person who made that game I played. The What was it? Like the King's... Not King's Quest. King's Field-esque game. Luna Acid, thank you. I always forget the name of it. Sub is carrying an unidentified, unidentified organic material. So this reminds me of the game Iron Lung. That I played not that long ago, and that game was pretty fucking awesome. Locate organic material, scan for retrieval, return. Iron... Long, I am long. The second best Iron Lung song that I know of. That was like my probably my favorite one they did live the other night. That and Sleep Drifter were my two favorites that they did, I'd say. Report back only when task is complete. Use the coordinates on page one to approach barrels, then use sonar to find the exact locations. Avoid unnecessary collisions to safeguard hull and retain pressure. Okay, so Q and E. Okay, Q and E. So we're looking for barrels. Oh, out of bounds. Well, that'll that'll kind of take you out of it. Chad, I also have some strange horror AI stuff. I was going to maybe do that tonight, but I decided that I may wait a little bit on that stuff. Just good submissions by uh, a couple chat members. Soon. It'll happen soon. Yeah, it's, it's going to be creepier than the usual AI stuff. There it is. Alright. Locate organic material scan return. One of six. Okay, so there's six of them total. Okay, sonar helps too. Alright, good, good.
Sonar does not help. Never mind. I, I totally jumped the gun on that one. So, chat, have you ever been underwater? I don't like. You ever been driving a submarine down there? Submersible? When you were making Titanic, did you actually go to the Titanic? Not only did James Cameron go to the Titanic, but he lived in the Titanic. The, the fucking hollowed out corpse of the Titanic. He lived there for three weeks. Eating only dried cheese. That's right. And drinking rat juice. And that was how he prepared for the, ro uh, the role of Jim Cameron, the director of Titanic film. He did that for three weeks. And he loved every minute of it because he loves underwater so much. In fact, his new movie, The Avatar 2, is all about the underwater. Right? It's called Wakanda Forever. It's true. That Wakanda Forever movie is all about water, right? And then you have, <clears throat> excuse me, again, vocal integrity failing. Then you have this Avatar 2 movie, which is literally called The Way of the Water, okay? Then you had the movie with, um, what's his name? Khal Drogo. What's that guy's name? Aquaman, the guy who fucks fish. And then you had The Deep, who fucked an octopus. And then you have James Cameron, once again, it all comes back to him, drinking rat juice underwater. So I need to entertain myself because I don't know, like, I'm looking for these barrels and I don't find them. Could they be not on the bottom? Has anyone played this? any of the coordinates 42 north 1 west 39 D okay help how does one find such coordinates then above you oh yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'll be damned. <laughs> How about that? How about that, chat? You did it. You saved the game. I want it. It looks neat. I mean, I want to see what I want to see this through. 42 North, 1 West, 39 D. So we're gonna go north. It's gonna take a little while, but we're 42 north, one west, and 39 depth. So we're gonna go. We're gonna dive. Well, that makes it so much easier. But we also have to head east because we are too far west. Depth is looking good. 42. I think we'll, yep, yeah, we're, we're just kind of headed in that exact direction. It's Subiotica. Vinny, it looks like there are things inside the sub. There's pictures of a cat that you need to feed with sus juice. <laughs> There's ever dream this man. So we got we got a little bit of traveling here. Chad, if you think maybe I should um I went too far east. Oh man. We gotta pay attention to that shit, huh? We're gonna go pure pure west now, I think. Damn. 
Chad, if you think we should not play this any further, you need to vote. Oh, no one's tallying the votes. I was just curious if, if you would. Well, there's an underwater tape. Scan that or what? Oh. Got it. I don't know. I saw I saw a little bit of meat. I'm sure it's going to get a lot cooler than that. 56 north, 60 west. Chat, did it get dark all of a sudden? 56 north, 60 west. Fifty six north, sixty west. Just keep saying it to myself until eventually I get there by accident. It's my strategy. <laughs> Goes southeast. Chad, if you were better at directions, you wouldn't have ever said north left. I guess this would be a good time to revisit the north left meme. Well, if you'd consider it a meme. But, uh, little voice crack for you. Here, I'll explain it. I was playing Subnautica, and I got lost. I got really, really lost in Subnautica. And I was in, like, this ancient river, kind of underwater thing, whatever. And I'm asking Chad, hey, Chad, do you know where to go to get out of here? And Chad, of course, is trying to give me directions because, you know, they're trying to be helpful. They're trying to be helpful. Problem is, how the fuck do you give directions in a three-dimensional space in a chat room so it wasn't working i was obviously not <laughs> smart enough to decipher such directions they were like seven dimensional chess directions and then someone said vinnie go north left and i'm pretty sure that was the moment i lost my shit and to this day people still tell me to go north left I was just like, what do you mean, chat member, what do you mean? That's not even, doesn't make sense. And it made no sense then, but I like North Left now. I think it actually makes a lot of sense. It took a little bit of ayahuasca, but once I got there, I got there. 29 North, 56 West. Again, if you ever stream chat members, just don't ask for directions. Unless it's like Zelda like one in which case they can say okay now you can go north okay now go west it's just easier that way Twenty oh 29 north all right 29 north we made it 56 west so it should be depth is zero okay so, surface. Like that.
Wait, was that Japes? There's two at location. Okay, so that, that was Japes, but to throw me a bone, there's two at the next location. 11 south, 75 west. And now we descend. Oh god. Oh, it's pitch black. It's fine. Video games don't scare me, chat. So, I mean... I'm not jumpy or anything. What the hell is this? Eleven south. Um, there's one left. Eleven south. Seventy-five. Depth of 56 or so. Should be like... I mean, I'm probably right above it. Chat is Nording right now. Are you ignoring the gameplay here, chat? So that you can post your Norts. Okay. Got it. So this is where James Cameron lives. Oh no, it's a submarine. Never mind. Yeah, that that's too primitive. James Cameron has like... His own submersible. That he... Like, puts himself in. And it's got like a tube that, that uh, it hooks up to his uh, <clears throat> oxygen supply. And it sucks the oxygen out of it. Alright, so there's a maximum depth of 100 and we have to go to 178. So this may be the, the final mission, like forever, of the submarine. Crush Depth. Is that a band? Has anyone named their band Crush Depth? A uh, Crush 40? Yeah, that kind of ruins that, never mind. How, but here's the better question. How many crush depths are there? And can this fucking... ...diver get off my submarine? Please. start playing Led Zeppelin backwards if I have to listen to this shit much longer.
Here's to my sweet Satan. All right, let's get down there. Let's get down there. We're, we're on a one-way mission. That's fine. All right, maximum allowed, 100. We're going 178 deep. Trying to think of a balls deep joke there, like a professional comedian, like balls deep, but I couldn't think of it. I believe this is where the Cthulhu's are. How do I get to 178? We found the water temple. I'm pretty sure there's a... a piece of Triforce in here. Make sure we weren't still playing a liminal Gmod map. Someone said in chat this is a direct reference to Bionicle lore. My brother in Christ, what in the fuck are you talking about? If you blink, you miss it. That's the problem. Such a cool concept. So much time getting there, and then it's like two seconds of a weird thing. At least let me go into a meat tunnel. Not bad for ten days, though. It was okay. I at least enjoyed like seeing the weird um, diver and some of the other like scares. But uh, <laughs> someone said it was Iron Lung Windows Edition. Yeah, it was okay. Not bad for Game Jam. I'm trying to figure out what other stuff I would like to show you because I have there are more games here that I I have that I then I'll be able to cover for Halloween. So I'm going to go for a little bit more of high production value game. I don't know how long this game is, but it's called The Fridge is Red. Maybe we'll give it a shot as the, you know, developers want me to experience it. Vinny, you played this one. Oh, yeah. Did I really? Spook. 
poopy fridge game? I didn't have it on Steam previously. You didn't finish it, though? No. You- I played the demo. Okay. Oh, yeah, kind of... Vague memories of such things. I still won't finish it. Like, like I'm gonna check it out for a little bit. Frames are pretty low. I know that was what we... Remember? That option there, chat? Remember that? Oh dear. Not the best option. Okay, now what? Good spelling. <laughs> Chat, you see any letters around here? Next to the doll. Oh. Um. to your right. How do I miss these things? Like, absolutely obvious things are just gone. They're just, I get no signal. <clears throat> that was the end of the demo. Well. Okay. What? It's 11 p.m. I have to go home. Unlocked a new chapter. Yeah, a lot of just, like, clicking around and finding things. That's pretty much what this game is. Oh. I have to turn off the lights, or the cleaning lady will crumble again. Wow, this office is really cool. Every... Every single... Door is get in the elevator room. So much variety. It's not a beer, is it? No, why would it be?
Oh, blood under one of them. Vinny, you can drink it. I, uh... How? Oh. You feel good. Yep. Which floor does this take you to, chat? Believe we need some assistance here. Um, okay. Did you not notice the corkscrew thing on the floor? Well, yeah, that's the button that fell off and created um, the eyeball. Love crust voices. Now, that wasn't the eyeball that was telling us this, right? the eyeballs. <laughs> if this is like a series of horror vignettes, I'm very okay with that. I can't pick those up. Pick this one up, pretty much. That's about it. It says put back. Oh, you can pick them all up, actually. I was just... You can't hold the button. Gee, sure is boring around here. You can have the cool Except the six is gone. Oh wait. Back in there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, no. I think he's going to be just fine. <laughs> All right, what yeah, when do I jump? I just need to find the exact right moment to jump. Oh wait, there's no jump button. Damn it. 
Ah, great. Silent Hill again. I don't know how I end up there so often. Jesus. Beer monsters. I'm going to the staff lot. I'm I'm still going to the staff lounge. There's actually someone here. I wasn't expecting to find anyone. Uh... If you need quads, look in Mitchell's lock. Nice eyes. You enjoying that book? How about that, uh... How about that safety poster you got there behind you? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Someone said it's Nick Cage on the safety poster. I mean, listen, it's it's a job. I bring every ounce of my nuovo shamanic technique to whatever role. I'm a method actor. I have to get hit in the head with an axe if I'm actually going to be on a poster. The guy moved? No, nah, he's Chad, he was always there. I'm telling you, this is where he was before. Like there I If you review the footage So there's a key here for the locker room. Yeah, there was never a dude here, chat. I don't... I don't know what you guys are talking about. We don't need Shining Elevator just this moment. Maybe another time. Okay. In the West Craven locker, we picked up a flashlight. Tom Savini. Okay. John Carpenter. Friedkin directed The Exorcist. Rod Serling. Who's T. Kudrow? I feel like I should know that. Hey, Toyama. Uh, Robert Eggers did the the witch. The Vavitch. Let's 
Silent Hill 1 director. Okay. If you need quads, look in the tooth lock. Yeah, there, there was always a dude in there. Quads. Why do I need coins again? Oh, oh yeah. If you need quads, look in the tooth lock. I like that dude. Okay, um, danger, danger, high voltage. What, wait, touch. Did I just did go in a circle? how this is a completely empty video game. Okay, maybe we gotta go upstairs? Yeah. Probably this. Find the code on the tape. Well, this one really ended up being more than I expected. Find the code on the tape. Nine, two. Go, go again, please. Was it zero nine two chat? Nine one zero nine two. Yep, yeah, I saw that town in my restless dreams as well. Welcome to the cum elevator. It's Silent Hill, but instead of things becoming like rusty and grungy and gross, everything's just covered in the white peepee. -pee. Zero nine two. Nine one zero nine two. 
Someone said press the stop button. I'm sorry, what stop button? Okay, oh, 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 it stopped, it stopped. Looks like we got a little bit of a glitch preview of this. The hand has been moved. The, uh, what, the elevator? Whoa, fuck off! I don't- I don't get scared by video games, chat. I just don't. Three hands remaining. Getting stuck, you know, on the corpses. I think they're like Endermen, just don't look at them. to go back to the elevator, which I'm sure everything's going to be just, just wonderful. Solve the riddle with hands. So it's going to be one, two, five, wait. Five, one, two, five, one, two, two, zero. Yeah, that was the order. The numbers are the order, and the amount of fingers they're holding up is the number. It's the code. The code. Just another day at work. Hey, come on! I think I unlocked another chapter, but I think I'm good. I, I kind of like that they're short vignettes. Seaside. So, I mean, that's okay. That's my wife in there. Can't you see I'm busy? This isn't a reference room. 
there are a lot of you here who need some egg, and I'm the only one here. You can't have a normal lunch anymore. Hmm. What kind of people are these days? They have no upbringing. No hello, no goodbye. Everyone owes them a favor. Here's the phone. You call and find out where your wife is, and I'm busy. Okay. Well, <clears throat> chat. Problem is, I was enjoying that. And I still have a bunch of other things that would have been um, interesting to check out, but I am losing vocal integrity. As you can hear, I am uh, a little phlegmy tonight. I don't really know why. I don't like it. But I think I'm going to get going. But first... Someone said, what if you do more than one Spooptober stream a week? My chat member in Christ, I, I don't know why I keep saying it, I just like it. I have to try to fit many things within a typical week of my life, which includes playing the games that I want to make progress in, and then also trying to do some horror stuff. Such as this. So it can be difficult to do such things. And also, Faith is out. So I'd like to do Faith as well as uh, continue my Mario Rabbids playthrough. As well as some other things, too, that um, I think chat will find entertaining. I'm hoping I can do a Phasmophobia before Halloween's up, too. But. Yeah, and this week is another busy week for me. That is, if I'm not fucking getting sick. Vinny, do you ever get burnout on games, like, in general? Yeah. I mean, to a degree, but that's why I play so many different types. By the way, this game is very old. And I've already played one of this particular SCP, but I was recommended this one by chat members who said um, it was better. But no, I mean, I'm... You know, I enjoyed Splatoon, but I'm happy now that I can play Mario Rabbid because that is a completely different type of gameplay and it activates a different part of my brain. And then Call of Duty comes out, and again, I hate to say it, but I play the multiplayer for that for a couple of weeks and it's just brain off shoot. Um, but then I play a lot of Slice and Dice on my phone. I do, um, I was, you saw the video I Johnny posted today of the survivor-like games which someone said thank you for curating these so I can skip them all in one video <laughs> but uh, I like those games they're fun <laughs> they're fun to play even if only for a short period of time so I do that like some slay the spire into the breach I like different types of games like into the breach is completely different than splatoon so it's nice to have a couple different ones and then, uh, when I stream, it's just tons of indie games that people send my way. And, uh, city builders, platformers, all kinds of shit like that. So while I get a little burnt out, I also keep it varietous. Is something gonna happen? Not really. Are you going to play the new RimWorld expansion? I'm going to play RimWorld Season 3 
in the future? How's that for an answer? The game physically prevents you from going back up steps. This is reverse snake eater. Still going. At this time with even less noises. Oh, you can jump. You can float, kind of. It's not really effective, but you can float. <laughs> the game just closed. The game just fucking closed. And that concludes Spooptober Horror Games. Vinny, you missed the spoop. That was so that was so fucking awful. And I think because I started jumping, I missed the spoop. That's amazing. But chat, think of it this way. You were expecting a spoop. It subverted your expectations. You didn't get the spoop. It's more rewarding this way. And I'm not going back to play it again, so we're, we're officially done. Just picture there's a scary ghost at the bottom of the steps, right? Good enough. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. Tonight was fun. Um, I'm going to definitely be playing more horror stuff. Like I said, Faith Chapter 2. Sorry, Chapter 3 we're on now. And uh, next weekend, we're going to have a Half-Life 1 Halloween special. Halloween Corruptions... And I have a couple other uh, games I'd like to get to for Spooptober. It, it's a fun month, but it's a busy one because I want to do a lot of different things before the month ends while also playing new releases. So, you know, I'll try. But thank you, everybody. And those who sub, you have my deepest appreciation. Like I said, I don't call them out, but I, I appreciate it. And um, thank you for donating to our charity that we did last week we ended up raising a lot of money and it was very good oh and uh like i said earlier i'm going to be pressing the add button when i start the stream and it says starting soon so that way pre-roll ads are disabled for a short time i'm just going to do like a one minute ad and then the way i understand it is pre-rolls like don't happen so if people are just joining they have to roll their own joints so I, I figure, all right, I'll just play like one in the beginning. And that way, when people join, they don't have to see that stuff. Okay. Well, now, officially, 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 I am done. Good night, everybody. See you earlier in the week and later in the week as well. With more video game. I like what I see.